Hello everyone. In today's video, we will craft a high budget Nimis cast on crit fireball wand. I would recommend that you get an imbued wand with an item level of 73 or higher that has either plus one to level of all fire spell skill gems or plus one to all spell skill gems fractured on it this version that i'm going to use is significantly cheaper this only cost me one divine orb the plus one to level of all spell skill gems version of this costs 40 divine orb so if you do not have the currency to invest i would recommend that you use the budget version that i use okay so the first step is that we get at least 24% quality on this. We will achieve this by using perfect foresights in combination with primitive chaotic resonators. 26, perfect. The second step is for us to use deafening essences of dread until we see 35 to 38% increased critical strike chance. This is above average luck, but there's a problem with it. We need an open suffix. So what I could do here is use an orb of annulment and hope that we remove the cast speed. Remove the prefix. That's fine. We only care about the projectile speed and the crit chance. Remove the projectile speed. We have to go back. Craft again. Um, if you want to, you can keep a lower tier of the critical strike chance as well. I think tier 3 up to tier 1 is totally fine. Here three again. Okay, same thing here. We need the crit chance. If we could get the crit chance, that would be really nice. That would be really nice. We do not care about the prefix. This totally doesn't matter. And we remove the necessary suffix. Okay. So as you can see, we have an open prefix and an open suffix. What we need to do now is we need to get suffixes cannot be changed on the item. Okay craft suffixes cannot be changed onto your item and what we have to do now is this reforge a random rare item with random modifiers including a speed modifier and we want at least 10 to 14 percent increased attack speed if we fail to hit that we have to try and remove it with an orb of a nomad and if that fails we have to go back to step one so if you do not want to go back to step one you can also accept a lower percentage of attack speed this is again totally up to you you make the decision in the end so we have suffixes cannot be changed refer to rare item freedom modifiers including a speed modifier and we got cast speed so in our case, we have to try to annul it off. And we didn't. Now we have to go back to crafting this again. With multi. Nice. Again, we have to get rid of the fire damage. Hope for the best. We didn't.
Oh, this one could have been sick. Actually, yeah, if this was crit chance instead of crit multi, we could have kept that as it is. 27% critical strike chance. Um, But theoretically, no, they're too pretty. Never mind. Okay, we have one that has crit and fire damage to spells. This one is great. This one is great. Okay. Same stuff. Stuff exists cannot be changed. And pray. And we got cast speed again. Hope that this gets removed. Okay, I need to get rid of the cast speeds. We got rid of the cast speeds. Yep. Suffixes cannot be changed. Boom. Speed. And we got 11% attack speed. Um, I'm just gonna stick with the 11%. If you want to go for 14%, that's totally up to you. You can also just reroll this with a divine orb and get 13. And now, since all these suffixes are filled up, we can use a Wild Bristle Matron, which is significantly cheaper than the Benchcraft. The Benchcraft costs you two Divine, and a Wild Bristle Matron costs roughly 100 Chaos Orbs. All we have to do is go to the Blood Altar, put this in, add a crafted meta modifier to a non-unique item. And we have suffixes cannot be changed. Okay, what we will do now is we will use a Veiled Chaos Orb. If you do not want to risk filling up your prefixes, you can also acquire an Ashling Craft instead. But that's significantly more expensive. Totally up to you. I think the chance to fill up your prefixes is roughly 9 to 10%, I think. So in my case, I'm just going to use a Veiled Chaos Orb. And what I will do next to block out some mods that I do not want is go to the bench and craft the lowest incre percentage increased physical damage. After doing that, you want to unveil one of the following prefixes. Percentage increased fire damage, percentage chance to ignite, percentage increased spell damage, percentage increased mana regeneration rate, or percentage increased spell damage gain 5% of non-chaos damage as extra chaos damage. If we fail, we have to go back to the previous step. So let's unveil. We failed. As you can see, we have minions, attacks with weapon penetrate and penetrate. So we confirm this. What we do now is just pretty simple. We remove the crafted mods. We go to the menagerie. We use a wild resumation, put them in. And they craft the meta modifier again. Suffixes cannot be changed. We craft percentage increase physical damage again. Go to June and unveil. And this time we got 74% increased spell damage. We craft that and we will swap out the percentage increase physical damage with gain 7 to 8% of fire damage as extra chaos damage. And to finish the item, we will craft this. Harvest Craft, Enchanted Weapon, quality does not increase its physical damage, has 1% increased attack speed per 8% quality. 
quality. So as you can see, this is a pretty, pretty good item. We have tier one spell damage, decent projectile speed. We have tier one crit chance. The only thing that is not tier one is the attack speed, but in my opinion, it is still fine. Okay, I hope you guys found this video informative and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.